Come on, a bitch. on y'all this is be your boy scattered by nature tv and we're here for another episode of yes for the mess and we're here to talk about carly Rae, lamar odom and love and hip-hop atlanta okay and all i gotta say about this is this right here this ain't nothing but i know you effing lying news because this is exactly what the hell this is i know you effing lying because baby when i saw monica from all about the tea posted stuff on twitter and I shared it to my twi to my Instagram and to my Facebook. Everybody saw that stuff and commented and all had something to say. Because Carly would do anything for a storyline. Like she would literally give her, her whole self for a storyline. And I think it's pretty pathetic. And I think it's really crazy how this woman who is nearing 50. If she's not already 50. Will do anything to have a man for a storyline. Do you always have to have a man to be your storyline? What about your child? What about your child who said that she don't really know you like that because you really wasn't in her life? And I can see why you really wasn't in her life because you was always in some man's life all the time. Your priorities are still messed up, Kylie Red. But let me get into this article. And the article comes from awesomeo.com. If that's the name, if that's the way you pronounce it. So, I'm going to read the article. And y'all know I'm going to give y'all my opinion after I read the article. And y'all in the comments, y'all give y'all opinions as well. So, let's get into the man. Lamar Odom to appear on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta as Carly Red's new boyfriend. Former NBA player Lamar Odom knows his way around a reality set. The former Lakers star has been featured on many reality shows throughout his life. And now it appears that he's about to add Love & Hip Hop to his resume. Lamar Odom has apparently joined the cast of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta and the former NBA star will be appearing on the up and coming season of the VH1 reality show as Carly Red's boyfriend according to some leaked footage. Lamar has already began filming with Carly. He went from being on Keeping Up With The Kardashians to Keeping Up With Carly Red. A paycheck is a paycheck. Lamar definitely brings plenty of baggage and drama to the table. Now if y'all want to see the footage that has leaked, um... Kyle from the Neighborhood Talk has the footage that's been leaked, so I'm going to show y'all the videos. One of them are going to be muted because the song Swag Surfing is playing in the background, and I do not need no copyright infringements or nothing like that. So just to let y'all know, this does come from um, Kyle from the Neighborhood Talk. He was the one who posted this leaked footage, okay? This is where I got it from, and um, I'm about to show it to you guys, and um, we'll dissect it after you guys see it, okay? <laughs> So that was the article from Osimo, and that was the leaked footage on uh, the Neighborhood Talk. And apparently, also, not only is Carly Red's new lover, um, Lamar Odom, allegedly joining Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, but also um, Love & Hip Hop New York alums, Yandy and Mendici, they will also be appearing on Love & Hip Hop this season. Um, they moved from New York, and they decided to move to Atlanta now. So Yandy and Mendici will now be on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. I really don't know how the hell that's going to work out due to the fact that they are New Yorkers to the damn heart. So that's going to be extra weird to see them on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. But 
We'll see how it works out. But however, this ain't even about you and in DC. We finna talk about Carly Reed and Lamar Odom. Carly, how many men are you gonna get, girl? How many men is you gonna get, girl? Like, how many? You just gonna throw your cookie all the way up to sunset for you a check. All I gotta say is this. <laughs> Mona, bitch. Mona, bitch! Cause this shit is really ridiculous. It is crazy to me. I think I have seen it all. I am already over this shit already. I already know that I'm going to be reading the hell out of Carly Red the entire damn season. Because this woman has a new man every year. And how long have you been dating Lamar? Please tell me. And how much did you pay him to be your man? Because it's like you've had a new man every damn year. We started off the first two seasons. You were sitting up here dealing with fucking Benzino for the first two seasons. Then from season three, you were dealing with Young Jock. You were still dealing with Young Jock in season four, and you were still kind of dealing with him in season five. I think you was dealing with Caesar in season five or season six, whichever one it was. And then you was fucking around with that Arkansas Mo dude. Then you was fucking around with Scrap, Scrap Deleon. Like, girl, you got so many men in your pocket for a storyline. Girl, like... I just don't know what to say about Carter Red. That girl will ultimately would do anything for a storyline, y'all. She would do anything for a storyline. I just don't know what to say about her at all. Like, I just don't know what to say. And Mona, girl, I don't know what to say about you either because you really keep this woman on this show to make her constantly look, look like a damn fool. This woman makes herself look like a fool every season over some man. And it's like her storylines are always fucking predictable. She's always dating... I almost forgot. She was also dating Life Jennings too, season five. Like, how many men has she had on this show? And it's not a good look being that she damn near half of a hundred. So it's just like, girl, are you serious? Are you dead serious is what I'm saying. Are you dead serious? Because girl, are you... Girl, like, why are you doing this? It's mind-boggling to me, and I just don't get why she's doing this. I just don't understand why she's doing this. She makes herself like a fool every time. Like, girl, your storylines are always predictable. We always we already know that you're going to date some man who's probably toxic, got baby mamas out the ass, and you're probably going to fight with the baby mama, or he's cheating on you with somebody. And it's all of that other shit. That's basically what your storylines are always about. It's always centered around some no-good, deadbeat-ass man. It's always about that. Why not take out the time to show us a humanly side of you? Your daughter was on the family reunion the last time I watched it because the shit was trash. But the last time I watched it, your daughter said that you were not in her life like that. You was always in and out of her life. That's why y'all don't really rock with each other like that. And I can see why. I can see why. You always running behind some man all the time, girl. What is wrong with you? Oh my God. Like, girl, I saw that shit. I thought you talking to Lamar Odom and got fucking disgusted from the very beginning because I'm like, how many people she gonna give her give her um cookie to to have a storyline? How many people she gonna do that for? Cause she has, she got to be tired at this point. Cause I'm tired for her. Like seriously, I am tired for this girl. Like how many people are you gonna screw to get a storyline? I just I just don't understand Carly Red. I don't understand her at all, honey. I don't understand. But it is what it is. It may not be up for it, it may not be up to any of us to really understand why the hell she does the shit that she do. It may not be up to any of us to understand. All I know is Mona bitch. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that child because that is a hot ass mess. She's a hot ass mess and it's show for to be a hot ass mess. Again. Again, and I love every second of it, okay? With that being said, y'all, before I go, um, when y'all see this video, because it's thir it's Wednesday night as I'm filming it, so y'all are, are going to see this Thursday morning. So be on the lookout tonight to see a video with me and my one of my YouTube besties uh, giving you the real tea. We'll be um, spilling some exclusive behind the scenes tea on Love and Hip Hop Huntsville. The shit came into his email and we're going to go live and we're going to gag and let half and spill that damn tea, honey. So make sure y'all tune in to giving you the real teas page. Um, the link is out. I think the link is out already. If it's not, if, if it is, I'm going to put it on my community wall so you guys can go. As a matter of fact, it is. I already shared it. So um, with that being said, y'all, um, make sure y'all tune in 
to giving you the real tea. We'll be going live tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m., 7 o'clock central time. So it's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock central. Tune in to me and give you the real tea. We're going to be giving y'all all the tea because I saw, ooh, it's going to be some good ass tea, honey. We're going to be gagging the hell out of this shit, okay? Um, also, um, with that being said, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. And make sure you follow me on all social media. It will be at the bottom of the video. Alright, y'all. To my next video. I'll holler at you later. Peace out.